Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, my lovely Libras. So this is going to be your daily reading Libras for your general energies and also for your love energies Libras. So let us just take some cards for your general energies first guys and then we will be moving on to your love energies Libras. general energies libras what is coming up so we have the violet angel libras invasion boundaries violated dominance libras so what i can see here with a breaking dawn invasion boundary violent dominance this person and you are meant to be but you need to set up certain uh, conditions certain things to kind of like work this relationship out because both of you are totally different beings with totally different uh, energy totally different characteristics and this can be really hard for you to understand this person completely until and unless you kind of like do what you're supposed to i hope you understand that so make sure to uh, i'm not asking you to get away from this person but it's, it's an energy like you need to go away from a situation that doesn't involve you do what you're supposed to manifest what you're supposed to manifest and you will see that everything happens for a reason everything happens because it is supposed to happen okay so that is a kind of an energy that i can see for you guys my lovely libra so yes guys i hope you got the overall energies my lovely libras and see you all tomorrow libras bye hi guys welcome back to my channel my lovely so this is just going to be a general reading for you guys for your love energies and also for your um person's messages okay so i will be picking out some cards and giving you the message this person has for you guys this is a very general reading all zodiac signs can watch it and this is also a timeless reading in a sense you can watch it even if like you come across this reading after a year or after a few weeks or after a few months so let me just start off the reading so it's going to be like a pick a card reading three piles pile number two and three so you can choose a one from one pile or you can choose more than one you can choose this card this is the first card second card and the third card you can either choose two or you can choose more than two you can choose all three but make sure to choose one or two don't choose more than two i mean don't choose all because uh, then it might get you into a confused energy so just make sure to choose two don't choose more than two okay so yes guys go ahead and choose the pile and then i will see you all so this is pile number one pile number two and three did you choose okay so now i will be starting with the pile number one so pile number two and three wait guys okay so we have the strength card in reverse so all i can see here with a strength card in reverse is that this person feels somewhat weak when they're without you or they feel weak when they're in a situation that doesn't involve you or they feel somewhat like weird when they're not with you so that is what i can see here for you guys you definitely feel weak this person feels weak when they're not in a relationship with you when they're not around you and they feel like they don't know what to do in a situation that doesn't involve you they feel weak when it comes to you they really want to improve in life when with you guys really want to see what they can manifest in life improve in life what they can uh, do in life to kind of have you in their lives 
so this person is really wanting to grow in life with you so that is also another target energy here this person does not just want to be with you they also want to grow with you they want to see what you're capable of and they want to grow with you so that is also another energy that is coming forward with this reading for pile number one we also have the chariot card in reverse and the six of wands so with the chariot card in reverse all i can see here is that this person doesn't want to come towards you and they're confused whether they have to come towards you because they have a lot of opinions in their head they're confused between a lot of opinions they're confused between a lot of things and they really don't know what is right whether to come towards you have this relationship with you or to kind of leave out on this connection and do something for themselves so this person is very very confused that way okay so that is again what i can see here for you guys with this card so now i will be picking out a few more cards again for more clarification with the world card in reverse this person maybe even thought like this relationship was not meant to be or they had a strong feeling that you are not meant to be together but right now maybe this person thinks otherwise they think maybe this relationship is forever maybe they think that this relationship is going to manifest forever that sort of an energy okay because before this person had a very bad feeling about this relationship they didn't know what is going to happen they never trusted this connection to be honest but right now i can see that this person is trusting this connection they're trusting this relationship okay so that is again what i can see here with these cards guys my lovely uh so it's the pile number one so now we will be moving on to the pile number two thank you all so much for joining me home bye guys like and subscribe to my channel for those who chose the pile number two we have the five of cups so the five of cups is a card that kind of denotes that this person has everything still his mind is kind of wavering like this person has got the half things that he wanted he's got like 50 50 percent of the things that he wanted and he still feels that his mind is wavering is he doesn't know if this is enough or he needs to go for more so this person is in that stuck energy whether he doesn't know uh, he's got that 50 percent he knows that 50 percent is good for him right now in his life the other 50 percent is a question mark for him okay so the other 50 percent is what he is thinking right now what he is feeling right now and yes guys that is the overall energy that i can see for you here okay so with this card with the five of cups it is this person is still wondering if he needs more something more if this is enough or he needs to manifest more this is enough so his mind is kind of wavering between sides he's not sure about what he really wants he's not sure about what really needs to be the case and that is the main energy when this card comes up especially when this card pops up that is the energy that i get here out of this reading guys okay my lovely so um, let us take more cards and find out what is actually the situation that is going on with this person how are they feeling about you what is actually the situation that is happening in this uh, in that place so but what, how does this person feel about you that question we have the queen of wands so this person feels like you are someone who is not capable of taking care of herself so this person feels maybe you're very dependent on them i don't know why this person feels that way they want someone who is independent i'm really sorry to say this guys but even if you're an independent person when it comes to this person that is how they feel about you they feel like you are someone who is dependent they feel you're someone who actually always wants to lean on on someone or lean on on something 
and they definitely see you as someone who is not independent okay and that is the main reason they uh, definitely like see you as someone weak or they see you as someone who cannot do anything out of a situation or this makes this person have a lot of negative intentions too towards you okay so with the other card how does this relationship has they view about the relationship with the nine of cups they just feel like one something is missing in this connection and they want to fulfill something that is missing or you feel like something is missing in your connection and you don't want it uh, to be like that anymore so you want to fulfill something that is missing in your relationship in that connection that you have with this person and that is what i can see here generally with those of you who chose the pile number two there is something that you want to fulfill um with this person or something is missing in this connection and you really don't want that aspect to be missing anymore so yes guys i hope you got the overall energies uh my lovelies and yes um So now I will be moving on to the pile number three. So we have two of swords but in reverse again for pile number three. So this definitely means that this person has made a decision. Okay, so let us find out what is the decision that this person made pulling some cards. But the two of swords definitely means in reverse, especially means that this person has made a decision about you, has made a decision about how they want this relationship to be with you. So this person is somewhat sure about things, they're sure about how they want this relationship to progress, they're sure about how they want everything to be with you that sort of an energy okay so what is this a uh, decision is it something positive or is it something negative how is the decision about of this person i can see that this person has made something like a calm decision no fights or no arguments will definitely come with this decision and i can also see here with the five of pentacles in robust so this is a uh, this is a decision out of the heart's desire so what they felt was right what they felt was true that is the decision that they have made so if this person felt being with you was good if they felt like being in this connection with you is a good thing then that is how they feel so that is what i can see here for you guys so this person's decision is totally on how they feel how they thinking about this situation and how they feeling from their heart okay let me also take a few more cards with the king of wands i can definitely see here that this person has like wanting to come towards you maybe you are like the final decision that they have made but for some of you it might not be the same case so make sure to understand that every situation is different unless you get a personal reading i don't think every aspect of the reading is going to resonate with you guys okay so yes guys take it as it resonates but as per the cards i can definitely see here that this person has made a decision to be with you to start something new with you but i don't know what else is going to come up okay so thank you all so much for joining me here my lovelies bye guys see you all tomorrow bye bye guys thank you so much for choosing the third palimetry